Alhambra is the climax of the aviation year. And as Sir Geoffrey watched the 1949 display, he may well have been gratified with the progress made under his long leadership. The first jet-propelled night fighter was demonstrated to a world gathering of experts. Then, the powerful ghost-engined Venom, which gives a remarkable altitude performance combined with the economy and easy flying qualities of the Vampire, the most widely adopted fighter in the Air Forces of today. But it was the Comet which attracted most attention as it took off. It circled with grace and dignity. Designed to fly at a speed approaching 500 miles an hour, it represents the first of a new generation of jet airliners and holds promise of a briefer, smoother passage for the air traveler of tomorrow. Still supreme, the world-famous long-range jet airliner de Havilland Comet has a cruising speed of 490 miles an hour. It's in production for BOAC and Canadian Pacific Airlines. First in the program is the Comet, and de Havilland's chief test pilot, John Cunningham, goes aboard to show off the 4B version to the waiting crowds. Powered by four Rolls-Royce Avon jets, its takeoff run is exceptionally short. Let's go upstairs and get alongside the comet in the air. This is one advantage of seeing Farnborough on film. Wearing the colourful new livery of British European Airways, it will start operating early in 1960. The standard Comet 4 is already in service with BOAC and other airlines. The use of reverse thrust enables it to operate from quite small airfields. 